Today I'd like to do a review on the MakeBlock Ultimate Robot Kit. Uh, this is a very high quality uh, robot making kit. It is, uh, uh, has an Adreno control board, uh, high quality aluminum and plastic parts, and very easy to assemble. All the parts fit really well together. Uh, the wiring uh, requires no solder. Uh, it's all uh, plugs in uh, with uh, RJ11 plugs or uh, other uh, different plug-ins. So it makes it really easy for anyone uh, to put this together without uh, uh, fear of shorting it out or, or uh, ruining it with soldering. My intention was to uh, do an unboxing video uh, I my kit arrived at about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and by 11 o'clock I had already taken most of it out of the box. So I immediately went and built the first project. Now as you can probably see um, the difference between this and the one on the box um, I have after I assembled the whole kit and had it running around my house I decided that it it would be more interesting if I could actually see the controller board, which is hidden in the original, um, uh, in, the, in the instructions. So I took it completely apart, um, moved all the, all the wiring harness to the top so that I could see the lights and all the plug-ins. I added uh, the motion sensor on the front of it and basically had this built twice uh, before dinner time. So, um, Fascinating, uh, easy to build kit, very interchangeable parts, um, very easy to create. Uh, I'll do some close up photos so you can get a good idea of what it looks like. And then we'll go over some of the parts and take it for a little run. Okay, even though I've built the largest project in this kit, I just wanted to show you what is left in the box. This is the uh, various tools. You get um, a screwdriver. There's a wrench in here somewhere. Um, all of the parts are aluminum. Very sturdy. They're light but uh, they're very solid. I have additional uh, controlling devices. Uh, this one will allow me to follow a line uh, based on light, light sensors. Uh, this one, and they're clearly marked. Um, this is a sound sensor, so I've got a little microphone in the front here. That's if I want to make a security robot. Uh, this one controls some lighting, I believe. I took it off to put on the um, uh, motion sensor on the robot that I built. I thought this was the neatest thing in the whole kit. Um, when I opened the box, uh, I started unboxing these various screws and putting them in this really handy case. Uh, this this is like the only way to build something. I mean, every everything is at your fingertips. And even though I have built the largest project uh, in this box, in this kit, I mean, um, I still have this many parts left over. Uh, these are the various uh, robots that I could be building. Um, this is the one that's in this book. Um, the instructions are very easy. Uh, it tells you basically uh, what to put where. It's almost all pictures. Uh, so. Uh, it's very simple to figure out, even uh, something as complex as assembling the motors and mounting them. Uh, it gives you the parts list, it tells you uh, exactly where to put the screws, what, what part to use. <clears throat> this was a tricky part right here. This is very complicated to lift the arm, uh, to tension this belt properly, to get these um, pulley system and these gears aligned properly. 
uh, took me like two tries. So yeah, the instructions are perfectly uh, fine for basically anybody. Some of the end screws that go into the ends, uh, they can be a little tight, a little difficult to turn with the itty bitty screwdriver, but um, uh, basically I didn't have any trouble. Uh, this, is, this is basically the only tool that I used for the entire project. That and the little wrench. So, um, I have additional rubber wheels for other projects and I have a few more tank treads if I need. Uh, these are, they all come individual. They all have a tiny little pin. Um, it, you just stick the pin in and you have an instant tank tread. It's very simple. I have a, an ability to connect it to my computer. Um, that should help with the programming quite a bit. And I have motion sensors for which I have no instructions, but um, there are places to plug them in and uh, they, they seem like they would be a very interesting thing to do in a future project. So that is basically uh, the robot in the, in the box. And let's go see how it works uh, driving. Okay, I'll be using my Pine 64, which I demonstrated in a previous video. I have my make block app right there. Now it tells me to that it's found the device, but I need to make uh, the device closer. Right here is the Bluetooth. So I need to put my device practically on top of it to get a connection. From there, I can pick my robot tank. All right. Um, I have a clamp in the front, which I can clamp, shut, or I can unclamp, open. I can also move the robot arm up or down. Now, uh, this controls the speed and direction of the tank. If I just move it a little bit, it goes just a little bit. I can turn. And if I'm not careful, it can go really fast, right out of frame. It moves pretty well, it's pretty accurate. I can turn it as I want. Um, back it up, go forward. Open and close my clamp, up and down. And that is pretty much how it looks in, uh, in the house, but I was more interested in taking this outside. So let's give that a try. All right, we are outside now. As you can see, it rolls pretty easily through the sand. I'm um, having a little bit of trouble with it in the grass. still go up and down with the uh, robot arm and the clamp I have my GoPro so we'll see how that video turns out I'm using my uh, Android tablet right now because the uh, Pine 64 does not have a very good Bluetooth range and I'm trying to roll it slow so it doesn't tip over but it will go through the grass without very much trouble. I wish I could drive it as well as I could build it, but it seems like I cannot. And again, the clamp will go up and down. So that's it. I'll check the GoPro footage and see how that looks. Probably a little shaky. Thank you.
that's it. I'll check the GoPro footage and see how that looks. Probably a little shaky.